Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And today we would like to present about Benelit Experiment We are from group 5, section 01 My name is Muhammad Yusuf bin Salahuddin MA18225 So we would like to start with the introduction In the fluid dynamic, Benelit theorem is the relationship between the pressure, velocity and elevation in the moving fluid such as a liquid or gas The compressibility and viscosity of which are negligible and the flow of which is steady or lamina flow the theorem states, in effect, that the total mechanical energy of flowing fluid, which is include the energy associated with the fluid pressure, the gravitational potential energy of elevation, and also the kinetic energy of fluid motion, are remain constant. The theorem first derived in year 1738 by the Swiss mathematician Daniel Bernoulli. And here is the formula that used in this theorem. The Bernoulli equation, which is the theory equation, may be used to explain it. The equation represents an approximate of the relationship between strain, velocity, and elevation. The application of uh, this theorem can be seen in many real-life applications such as to understand the aerodynamic of an airplane and also to designing the piping system for drainage or water supply. Then the problem statement in this uh, experiment is there are variation of total pressure head, static head, and, and dynamic head that are required to investigate. Next, the static head and the total head are measured at all six points within the ventry at any given flow rate. And finally, the problem statement is the fluid velocity at any point inside the ventry may be computed using a boat's volumetric tank and dynamic head. And the objective of this experiment are to determine the static head of the fluid through the volumetric tank and to determine the total pressure head of the fluid flow through volumetric tank and also to determine the dynamic head of the fluid flow through the volumetric tank and finally to verify Bernoulli principle experimentally for a viscous and incompressible flow. The scope of this experiment are to calculate the velocity of fluid through volumetric tank and from the dynamic head. The second is to measure the static head through multi-tube manometer at the top portion of the apparatus and finally to investigate the variation of total pressure head, static head and dynamic head. Hello, my name is Omar Hakim bin Omar Isham, MA18237. Today I will I will be presenting about Experiment 1, Bernoulli Principle. Bernoulli Principle stated that an increase in the speed of a fluid occurs simultaneously with a decrease in pressure or a decrease in the fluid potential energy. This principle is only applicable for isentropic flow when the effect of non-adiabatic process and irreversible process can be neglected or minor. Bernoulli principle is applicable to various types of fluid flow by providing a various number of Bernoulli equation. For incompressible flow, the simple equation of Bernoulli equation is valid because in most of the liquid and gases are moving at the low Mach number. As the Mach number is increased, there is more complex equation may be applied to compressible flow. Most of the fluid flow at the low Mach number the density of the fluid is can be considered as constant, although pressure variation in the flow. Bernoulli, Bernoulli performed his experiments on liquid, so his equation in its original form is valid only for incompressible flow. The following assumption must be met for this Bernoulli equation to be applied, which is flow must be steady, incompressible, and friction must viscous force must be negligible. And this is the formula for incompressible flow equation. P where P over rho G is for static head, V square over 2G is dynamic head, and Z is elevation. The constant can be standardized, which usually in terms of total head. The assumption of constant density becomes invalid at higher flow velocity in liquid or gases because the changes in mass density become significant. The linear relationship exists between flow speed squared and pressure in the equation. For the Bernoulli equation, uh, Bernoulli equation states that the sums of kinetic potential and thermal energy for an ideal fluid which is zero viscosity, constant density and steady flow must not change. Limitation create a predictable relationship between the fluid velocity, pressure and elevation. Specifically, choose from any point in the fluid from the figure, but Bernoulli equation will hold for any point in the fluid. Principle of conservation of energy also can be used to derive Bernoulli equation. 
sums of all kinds of energy in your fluid will be the same at all points along a streamline in a constant flow. An increase in the fluid speeds implies an increase in kinetic energy. This occurs when the potential energy, which includes the static pressure and internal energy, decrease at the same time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Muhammad Izzal Rahman Suhaimi. So I'll be presenting the apparatus and procedure for the Bernoulli Pacific uh, Experiment. Uh, my ID is MA18238. Okay, first, so let's look at the list of apparatus. So for the list of apparatus, uh, the first one is motor pump, then pitot tube, manometer, venturi tube, pipe valve, water reservoir, water flow control valve, manometer valve, single pitot manometer valve, and volumetric tank. And the last one is stopwatch for the, uh, to measure time taken. Okay, so this is how the experiment for uh, the apparatus is uh, arranged. So this one is the manometer valve to um, measure the static heat and this one is the pitot tube which to measure the maximum pressure and this one is the venturi tube to check the level okay, so next one okay for the steps and procedure okay so um, for each apparatus, uh, especially the manometer valve, pipe valve, and water control valve, must be arranged just like in the diagram that was shown. This diagram. Okay, so for the pitot tube measurement, it must be placed on the right side. It's placed on the right side of the apparatus, just like in the diagram. Okay, so the first one, uh, starting the experiment, we have to open the vent valve, and then uh, the pump switch is turned on and the volume uh, is adjusted uh, using the control valve and the static reading and pattern reading uh, is observed. So then uh, uh, we use a stealing baffle is used to close the hole which to increase the water level and then the static heat and total measurement were taken uh, are taken from all six points inside the venturi uh, and then at 25 seconds uh, the flow rate is measured uh, so the flow rate is measured through the volumetric tank and the time taken is measured using a stopwatch so and the last one is uh, inside the venturi uh, at all the six points the velocity of fluid is calculated through the dynamic head and volumetric tank ok that's one from me thank you my name is Pang Jing Yang with matrix number MA18221 I would like to discuss about the result of these experiments so first and foremost, let's come to the experimental data. So from the data recorded in the exper experiment, we were able to observe the change in static pressure when the water passing through the deeper duct. So by visualizing the data, we were able to conclude uh, from both static head and pitot head graph, the, pressures, the static pressure of the fluid is directly proportional to the cross-sectional area of the tube. Then, by concluding all the data into the calculations, we were able to find the total head of the fluids. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Shafi Ahmad bin Abdalim. My ID number is MA18282. So, uh, I'll be covering uh, the conclusion and uh, reference. Uh, without wasting our time, so let's go through it uh, one by one. For the conclusion, uh, the findings show that uh, when the pressure def difference rises, uh, the readings of each manometer tube climb as well uh, because both convergent and divergent flow obey the uh, Bernoulli equations. Uh, we may deduce that it is valid for both. Uh, the time it takes to collect water and the water flow rates both rise as the pressure difference grows uh, for both flows. As a result, uh, the total head pressure rises with the velocity of the same channel in both convergent and divergent flow. Uh, according to Bernoulli, a high velocity of fluid uh, flow results in uh, low pressure and a smaller area results in high velocity uh, according to the continuity equation. Uh, furthermore, both equations uh, may be used <coughs> to determine the velocity of fluid flow in a manometer. Uh, the pattern of growing and decreasing at the convergence and divergence regions is same, uh, even though the value is not the same. Uh, 
Uh, lastly, as the velocity of uh, both convergent and divergent uh, flow increases, so does the total head pressure. Next is for the reference. The first reference is uh, Bernoulli Principles uh, article from Wikipedia. Uh, it was uh, mo last modified on 9th uh, of November 2021. Uh, second is the uh, Bernoulli Principle uh, article by Teach Engineering, uh, written on 15 uh, November 2021. And the third is uh, Procedure for Experiment 1, the Bernoulli Principle, uh, there's no date, but uh, we retrieve it from Kalam UMP. Uh, third is uh, a video from uh, Habib Ahmari, uh, which titled Fluid Mechanics Lab 2 Bernoulli's Equation Experiment, um, was created on 7 September 2018, and we retrieve it from uh, YouTube. I think that's all from me. Thank you. Salam. So, um...